Good morning. Welcome to my home and welcome to my heart. I'm excited to be back on a regular schedule. My kids are out of school for a fair bit and they were out, out extra over the after the holiday for some lockdown stuff and um, I'm really grateful to be back on a regular schedule with you and meeting with you regularly in our practice of Spring Forest Qigong. I'm just going to turn down this music just a bit. I have a new friend here. This is a tower garden. Over the next few weeks, you're going to see that it's going to be growing vegetables. I'm so excited about that. If you want to know anything about that, just drop some stuff in the comments and I will tell you because I'm really, really excited. Let us begin our practice. So I get questions, uh, lots of questions online from people about saying, okay, I heard, I, I watched Master Lin on YouTube and I watched this and I watched that. And, and so do I need to take the, the basic class first? Because I've got lots of information about Spring Forest Qigong. And um, yes, the information that we get from different places and when we get little snippets of information that's really important and those pieces come in probably at a time when we needed that piece of information and so it's important to be able to look at other resources and to be able to access all resources in in places because especially as you start practicing spring forest qigong you will start to be led in directions that you need to go and so you might be practicing with me and then you might be led to just hop on YouTube or something will cross your page and you'll go, oh, I needed that piece of information today. And so as we gather information from different practitioners and Master Lin and Master Jiwa and Master Gaju and the other people that um, present on um, Spring Forest Qigong every day in the mornings, those pieces are all very important because we will get specific information for us from those pieces. In addition to that, if you take the classes, and yes, I teach the classes, and yes, I earn a living from teaching the classes, and, and the classes that Master Lin has now evolved, um, the, the Qi activation classes now, um, from July 1st, that's all we're teaching is Qi activation. So what you're seeing on the website, the Spring Forest Qigong website, for their digital offerings, those are extremely valuable. If you have the money, I would buy them because they're extremely excellent resources. And the new class, the Spring Forest Qigong Qi Activation class, level one, is so profound and it incorporates all of those little pieces and puts them together in a very sequential manner that you will understand things a lot better. And just like when you're in school, <laughs> If you want to study something, if we want to just cherry pick, and that's okay too. It depends on what you want out of your life and what, what works for you and what is important for you at a specific time in your life. But if you want the foundation of the practice to go deeper and broader and really dig into deep body, mind, spirit, soul balance, then the class process is a very important process because it builds things sequentially, sequentially, sequentially. And so if you take the class thinking, okay, well, I know, I already know a lot and, and I totally <laughs> agree with that. Um, I've taken, I, I own all the digital products. I've taken the, all the classes live. I review the classes regularly. My level four class is one of my mainstream, main pins, underpinnings. So the information is timeless and it's laid out in a sequential manner. So let's begin to bounce. So if you want to go deeper and you want to be able to understand the sequence of healing and the science of healing, that's the key, it's the science of healing, then I highly recommend the classes. I do have one starting at the on Thursday and Friday of this week and I'll be teaching the class at least once a month from here on out and in different time formats. So this one is a two day class, three and a half hours each day. I will present um, probably early in February, a one day class. It'll be, I'll do one weekend um, and then one weekday, just to see how the different formats fit different populations. In the meantime, let us practice today. Today we're going to practice um, in fairly quick order, the five healing elements. 
The first part of it is always the bouncing and always the releasing and the settling in and the intention setting. I'm just going to turn down this music just a smidge. This is meditation music from Spring Forest Qigong. Allow our hands to float above our heads. Here we're in observation space. We're in releasing space. We're letting things go. We're breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. We're settling into quietness. We're settling into observation. As we're in the bounce, observe your body. Observe the little invitations it gives us to align. So as I bounced a little bit there, I felt that my shoulders were forward and my body just said, hey, you know, if you could just stretch up and open those shoulders a little bit, the energy in the chi could move a little bit freely, more freely. And I did and my body said, oh yeah, that's right, thanks. So just, and, and have that literal conversation with your body. We're breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. This is releasing. We're releasing extra energy. The extra energy has served us. It has brought information to us. It has perhaps protected us. It has perhaps taught us. It has perhaps kept us from going somewhere. It's perhaps having done something for us. And it's ready to be released. Its particular job is finished. It goes back to the universe to be recycled into back into love. We're swinging our arms back and forth, back and forth. That too is releasing. We're going to land our, our bounce now. We're gonna land it in a quiet stillness off of the exhale. So as you breathe in and you exhale, allow your body to land into stillness. Again, observe. Observe what's happening in your body. Observe the quiet little tiny bits. My body just asked me to stretch up and my chin to tuck in. My arms automatically now float away from my body when I finish the bounce with the intention of releasing the chi, allowing it to move freely. So as our hands are away from our body and our fingers are open, you're going to feel perhaps a pressure in your palms. It'll be a very slight, tiny movement, a slight feeling. As we start observing more and more and more, we get to be aware of more and more and more of the tiny little adjustments and tiny little feelings and increments that are happening in our bodies. Your fingertips might be tingling. This is chi. We have activated our chi. Chi is our life energy. It has a life force to it. It sustains life. It has a blueprint. It knows exactly what our bodies, minds, spirits, and souls need to be whole and balanced. It has intelligence. So our chi, with its intelligence, knows, again, exactly what our bodies, minds, spirits, and souls need to be in full balance. And our chi is directed by our yi, by our intention. Bringing our hands to the lower dantian. Elbows are open, chin is tucked in, spine is stretching up into the universe. Shoulders are open. Flex in the knees, flex in the ankles, flex in the hips. Beautiful smile on our face. Smile says, start my internal love engine. And as we smile, our body softens. It softens into safety. And here we give the password, which opens us into the emptiness, the oneness of the universe. The password is, I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together as one. We give that password, we step into the emptiness of the universe that is filled with unconditional love. 
all possibility. <coughs> and we get to practice in silence. There's a reason for everything. Who knows why the music quit? And here in this quiet place, we set our intention by calling upon the energy of our master, your masters, whomever you deem to be, one who brings you wisdom, light, knowledge, safety, calmness. It could be a higher power, it could be your own inner knowing. We call upon the energy of our master. We feel their unconditional love and beautiful acceptance and compassion for us. We set our intention, dear master, with deepest gratitude for the connections I feel from thee. We always speak respectfully to our master, even if our master is our own inner, inner knowing. We set the intention for our practice. You set your own private intention, I set mine. Our first healing movement is moving of yin and yang. Our right hand comes up to the throat area. Our left hand is at the lower dantian. We're breathing in through our nose now and out through our nose. The right hand comes up and out and down. The left hand comes in and up. Our yin energy runs down the front of our body. Our yang energy runs up the back of our body. Our teeth are slightly parted. Our jaw is soft. Our tongue is touching the roof of our mouth and the back of the top teeth. We have a soft smile on our face. Our shoulders are open. As we move yin and yang energy, we're engaging with the liver system. Envision the colored green in the liver system. And as we engage with the liver system, the expanding emotion here, as we move yin and yang, is the emotion of happiness. As we breathe in, we breathe in a feeling of happiness. In this moment, we can choose what to feel. As we breathe in, we bring in the message of happiness to all of our cells. Qigong healing is message healing. Meditations are in the moment. And here in this moment, we bring in the feeling of happiness. The contracting emotion in the liver system is the emotion of anger. And as we breathe out, we breathe out anything that feels like anger, any little bits of it. We can be grateful for the anger. It helped us, it gave us information, perhaps helped us set boundaries. As we receive the information and take the action, the anger can now go back to a resting place. And as we receive it and learn from it and release it, we can release it with love and gratitude. As we breathe in, we breathe in happiness. As we breathe out, we breathe out with love and gratitude, anything that is extra. Anything that came to teach us and balance us, perhaps protect us. As we receive all of what we feel and are, we can take the messages and the emotions can come through for as long as they need to. 
for the effect they need to have. When they get caught in us and stay and create energy blockages, that's when our body and our mind and our spirit start to slow down. As we move our yin and yang, we release any energy blockages that are ready to be returned to the universe. Bringing our hands to the lower dantian, the navel area, our second healing movement is breathing of the universe. As we breathe in, we lead with our elbows. As we breathe out, we feel in our hands, we compress this chi. As we breathe in, we bend our knees. As we breathe out through our nose, we breathe in feelings of joy. We're breathing with the heart system. The color is red, the expanding emotion is joy. Contracting emotion is hatred. As we observe our hatred, any bits of hatred we might feel, we might feel the intensity of that emotion. And any hatred that is ready to be released comes out on our exhale. It came in for a reason. It can be released when the reason has passed. Breathing in joy. Releasing with love and gratitude any emotions that are not joy. Bringing our energy ball, our ball of yin and yang to our lower dantian. We raise it up. We're in our third healing movement now. This is connecting heaven and earth. With this beautiful orb in our hands, as our hands reach up, our shoulders drop down. Go to the level that is comfortable for you. We can envision ourselves with our hands fully extended, even if our bodies are not in that position to do that at this moment. Breathing in peace. Breathing out any anxiety. Bending our knees, breathing in peace. We're engaging here with the stomach system. Color is yellow. The element of the earth is the earth, the dirt of the earth. So we engage with our stomach system, bending our knees, breathing in. Breathe in peace and we release any anxiety. we breathe in, we're bringing our hands and letting them float down into a prayer position, coming past our heart, down to our lower dantian, walking the right foot out a little further, fingertips are in a heart shape, we're shifting our body weight to the left and breathing in, we 
shift our body weight to the right and breathe out. Breathing in to the left. Breathing out to the right. Here we're engaging with the lung system. The element of the earth is metal. The color is white. The expanding emotion is contentment. The contracting emotion is depression and anxiety and sadness, perhaps grief. Breathing out to the right, breathing in contentment. Just enough pressure in your fingertips to hold a piece of paper and allow it to not slip. Breathing in contentment. Breathing out extra energy that may be in the category of depression or sadness. Being grateful for those messages that they brought and allowing those contracting emotions to go back to a resting place. All emotions have little resting places around us, but they're not in us. We invite them into us by our thoughts. I am content. In this moment, I am completely content. All my needs are met. I am at one with the universe, with the love of the universe. I am at one with my fellow man. Bringing our right foot back, closing our hands into a prayer position, bringing them up to our chest to our heart area. Our fifth healing movement is the movement of gratitude. Connecting with our heart's energy as we lean forward and bow forward from the mid spine up. Each time we lean forward and bow, we bow in gratitude and we inhale feeling of gratitude and as we exhale we exhale any fear that we might be feeling inhaling gratitude we're engaging here with the kidney system and water beautiful healing cleansing nourishing water Pure living water. Each time we bow forward, think of something that you're grateful for. Speak it out loud. I am grateful for shoelaces. It just crossed my mind. I 
I'm grateful for flowers. I am grateful for knowledge. I'm grateful for the way that knowledge can also bring wisdom. I am grateful for my body. I am grateful for joy and the color red and all its derivatives. I am grateful for you. I'm grateful for the connection that I feel for you, with you, <clears throat> whenever you hear and watch this video, even though it is a digitally preserved video, the chi is still here. This chi is eternal. It can travel faster than anything we understand. It is timeless. So whenever you receive this practice, for whatever reason you receive this practice today, you will still receive Feelings of love that I have for you. And feelings of love that the universe and your master have for you. And they can fill you. They can fill me. That love can fill us all. I am grateful for love. Harvest our chi, rubbing our hands together. <clears throat> Bringing your hands to your face. Run your fingers on either side of your nose, up to your hairline, and out and down and around. And as you do so, you say to yourself, I love you. Use your own name. So I would say, I love you, Roxy. Feel what little bits of things that might not feel like love or might feel like embarrassment or <clears throat> whatever you might feel when you say that to yourself. And if you feel things, perhaps start to bounce again or start to tap. Tap on our eyebrows. If you feel things that are not love, tap and allow them to be heard and seen and released. Tapping under the eyes. This is our stomach meridian where there's anxiety. Tapping down our body. <clears throat> Tapping the top of our head. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hand on forehead, tapping the back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna tap our tailbone. <clears throat> This one is delicious to me, just tapping that tailbone and tapping the hips, tapping the groin, down into the knees, five, six, seven, eight, nine, in the backs of the knees, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, in the left knee, six, seven, eight, nine, and the right knee. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Up on your toes and drop to your heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you for practicing with me today. Again, if you'd like to go to my website, roxywright.com, you will find a link to my latest class, which for this, whenever you see this, if you see this in real time, it's this coming Thursday, January the 20th and 21st of 2022. 
the website will be active. Anytime you see this, there will probably be a current class coming up. Feel free to, to tap into that class and join us for an organized, this is organized, but a real in-depth feel of what the chi is, how we activate our chi and how we balance ourselves. I'm also starting a 10 by 10 by 10, 100 day Qigong challenge, starting on Friday the 21st. At the end of that class, I'll be challenging all my students that's, that are in that class to begin the 10 by 10 by 10, 100 day challenge, which is 10 minutes a day for 10 days and repeat that 10 times. And I will be putting out a practice, a 10 minute practice daily for that. Namaste, I love you. I'll talk to you again soon.